Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Um, good morning or good afternoon to everyone. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to another Islamic Renaissance uh, Front webinar. Today we, we have a, a very uh, interesting uh, discussion. Actually, we have a book presentation by renowned uh, professor from Oxford University. Uh, Professor uh, Dr. Shabir Akhtar, and uh, he will be discussing um, his uh, his uh, his book. We will introduce uh, his um, him later. But uh, let me first welcome you all, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, from wherever you are joining uh, this uh, this uh, webinar. Uh, my name is Osman uh, Softic. I am speaking uh, to you from Sarajevo in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and I am a senior research fellow with the Islamic Renaissance Front. Um, let me just uh, briefly go through the through our program today. I will be introducing um, our uh, respected uh, guest, and then um, we will have a short introduction by publisher of uh, of his his book. Professor Akhtar's book, and then we will have um, Professor himself uh, present for about 40 minutes. After that, we will have a discussion about the book. Um, there will be, naturally, there is always a lot of questions. We will take questions and the Professor will, will um, um, answer those questions. And we will be able to engage him in this discussion. And, um, if we are unable to address all the questions, but we will, in, we will endeavor uh, to do our, uh, our best. So uh, let me, without further ado, let me just um, briefly tell you about uh, uh, the book we are, we are presenting today. Um, the book title is Be Careful with Muhammad. Professor uh, Dr. Shabir Akhtar is the author of, of the book. Uh, he's a well-renowned author and uh, well-known in Malaysia and in, in Western Europe, United States, all over the world. So we will read his biography later on. But now, uh, brothers and sisters, ladies and, and gentlemen, I would like just to give you a, a, a brief detail about about the book. As you can remember, the trial of a dozen of French uh, Muslims accused of complicity in the Charlie um, Hebdo killing has started um, in 2020. The struggle for absolute liberty of publication was initiated by Salman Rushdie, satanic words. So basically, Professor Shabir Akhtar's book is a response and uh, critique of, of this uh, provocative book, which the topic remains relevant to current debate about the right to offend religious sensibilities. And um, we will be discussing it today with uh, Professor Akhtar. This book surveys events starting with the desperate book burning in Bradford to the Ayatollah Khomeini's um, unforgettably decisive fatwa that altered the power dynamics of this cultural confrontation. Professor Akhtar became an authoritative commentator and, and the leading commentator who patiently uh, explained to non-Muslims all around the world why Rushdie's book was an attack on the dignity, integrity, and indeed the very identity of Muslims and um, uh, Muslim sensibility and authenticity of our scripture, the Quran. So this uh, documentary account chronicles the reactions of what um, um, he terms as powerless and voiceless Muslims as they struggle to have their case heard before the tribunal of literary media and publishers, influential legislators, politicians, and other leaders in secular Britain and around the world. Professor Akhtar uh, scrutinizes passages from Rushdie's book while highlighting the bigotry and Islamophobia of, of uh, his supporters, while skillfully exposing Rushdie's real intent, which is to malign Islam and seminal 
Muslim figures of the past. Professor Akhtar argues that any faith, once stripped of political power, becomes vulnerable to the tyranny of writers and artists with no respect for the sacred. So the rest will be told by Professor Akhtar himself. And now let me um, invite uh, Mr. Nagib Gunjara, himself um, a profound uh, scholar and a philosopher with a philosophy degree of philosophy. Mr. Nagib Gunjara, he will be uh, introducing the book to us further. He's speaking to us from uh, Tokyo in, in Japan, and he is the publisher of Professor uh, Akhtar's book. Uh, Brother Nagib, the floor is yours, please. Thank you, Brother Osman. Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Yeah, so my name is Nagib, and uh, I am actually the editor uh, at uh, Bijak Publishing. And uh, Bijak Publishing, in fact, is under uh, Bijak uh, Institute of Philosophy, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So my interest is also in philosophy, just like uh, Dr. Shabir Akhtar. Yeah, so in fact, uh, I was one of his students at university. <laughs> That's how we got to know each other. Yeah, so when uh, I was a student in, um, in the Department of Philosophy at the International Islamic University, and uh, that was, uh, we are talking like about um, more than 20 years, <laughs> 20 years back. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so Bijak itself uh, based, is based in Jakarta, and uh, the mission of Bijak is to promote uh, uh, reflective and uh, and critical thinking. Yeah, reflective and critical thinking. Uh, well, about current issues and, and and all the big questions of life. Yeah. So, so we, um, yeah, in that respect, we conduct. Uh, regularly philosophy workshops uh, among children, uh, teenagers, um, and adults, yes, so to, to train them, um, you know, to, to get a, an edu educated view of the world, yeah, so that they can, uh, they can uh, make good decisions and improve their life. So Dr. Shabir Akhtar's book, uh, Be Careful with Muhammad, yeah, because it deals with, uh, with one of the big issues, which is, uh, freedom of expression or uh, free speech. So that was uh, really fit in, in what, in what we, are, we are doing. Yeah, so, and uh, it's an issue of, of, of uh, enduring uh, significance, yeah, especially with, uh, uh, with the constant uh, relentless abuses of uh, free speech uh, to ridicule uh, Islam and uh, Muslims whether it is by Salman Rushdie uh, in his book, uh, The Satanic Verses, whether it is by Charlie Hebdo uh, mocking the prophet with their cartoons, or whether it is uh, Rihanna uh, using uh, a song of the Hadith uh, in her catwalk. <laughs> so this is relentless, continuing, yeah, and it doesn't seem that Islamophobia is ending anytime soon. So we felt that this book is very, very relevant and uh, well, uh, it has, uh, it, uh, it was out of stock because the previous publisher, yeah, so um, doesn't exist anymore. And uh, yeah, so we decided to, to relaunch this book. It's a new version, well, a new edition, and it has a very substantial uh, preface yeah, which is like one fifth of the book where Dr. Shabir has tried to, um, well, um, come through the events that has happened since the book was first published till now. And he raises even more issues uh, in, the, in, 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 the new, in the new edition. Yes, yeah, so, so yeah, so we felt this book was very relevant and uh, we should publish it. We should definitely uh, resurrect that book. And anyway, that book was a bestseller. Yeah, when it was uh, first published, uh, it's, a, it's a classical work. It's a classical work on, on free speech. And uh, I think it will help every Muslim, 
yeah so to have a very um, good uh, response yeah so whenever people try to to find to find out like what is their yeah well how do they see something like charlie ebdo why are you not sympathizing with charlie ebdo at least we can have an intelligent response and argue with them on their own terms yes yeah, so so yeah so this is the kind of thing that we want to encourage and um, yeah we managed to bring the book out and for that i would like to thank the team of uh, bijak publishing uh, well of bijak itself who have done an incredible job from typing the original manuscript to getting the book in uh, in in final form in a very short time yeah so so yeah so i really want to thank the bijak team for that they've done an incredible job amazing work so if uh, well right now the book be careful with muhammad the second edition it is uh, available in uh, ebook format yeah so and uh, if uh, and also uh, we are launching the hardcover the hardcover version in november so it's already available for purchase. Uh, it can be purchased on uh, Dr. Shabir Akhtar, shabiraktar.com, and also on bijakpublishing.com. So it's already available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can already pre-order. So without further ado, then I would like to invite uh, Dr. Shabir Akhtar to share with us uh, the content of uh, Be Careful with Muhammad, the second edition. Thank you. Thank you. Um... Uh, brother uh, Nagib Banjaria for this elaborate uh, introduction and uh, obviously uh, it is a very very topical book uh, today as it was when it was first published especially given the recent events um, uh, those three weeks ago in France and, and only yesterday this tragic event that occurred so definitely um, there are many, many, many questions to be asked, and I'm sure that uh, no one is better placed to to give those, answer those questions, and explain to both Muslims and non-Muslims alike um, this this uh, troubling uh, phenomenon that we are faced. Uh, now, before uh, we ask our respected, uh, distinguished professor, Dr. Shabir Akhtar, to um, address the audience. Let me just uh, briefly um, introduce Professor Akhtar uh, to you. Uh, Dr. Shabir Akhtar is a Cambridge trained philosopher. He is um, teaching at the Faculty of Theology and Religions at the University of Oxford in the United Kingdom. He has lectured at various universities, including in Malaysia and the United States as well. He's an, also an expert consultant at BJAC, as, uh, as uh, Mr. Gunjaria mentioned, the Institute of Philosophy in Indonesia, in Jakarta. Professor Akhtar is original thinker, a prolific writer, no doubt, and a very, very gifted speaker. Dr. Akhtar uh, is a public intellectual and a poet as well, with a global reach into the Western and the Muslim, Muslim worlds. Um, he has published and presented widely on diverse uh, topics such as pluralism, interfaith dialogue, political Islam, extremism, Islamophobia, etc. Besides Islam and Christianity's differing responses to the challenges of modernity, Dr. Akhtar's book, books uh, include A Faith for All Seasons, then the Quran and the Secular Mind, which was published by Rotlich in 2008. Islam as Political Religion, also Rotlich in 2011, and later uh, reprinted by Center for um, Advanced Studies in 2017, as Professor mentioned. Um, in 2018, Professor Akhtar published the New Testament in Muslim Eyes, also uh, published by Rutledge, um, the first such work on the Greek New Testament in Islamic history. And we could go on and on and on, but uh, all this uh, information and more you can find out on Professor Akhtar's website, 
shabirakhtar.com. Without further ado, let me, uh, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, uh, ask uh, distinguished Professor Shabir Akhtar to take the floor. Professor, welcome. 